Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, of course, and today we're going to compare the Innova Precision Chamber Sealer to the Abbott Armor USV-20. As you can see, very similar units, probably the same manufacturer. We're going to show you what the differences are in these two units and see which one's better for you. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling. All right, guys, so um, I'm releasing both of these videos on the same day. The unboxing or uh, walk around of the Innova Precision Chamber Sealer and this one. Just so that you guys can see the difference in these two, you don't have to wait another week for this video to come out. So, like I said, I'm going to put these side by side because pretty much they're basically the same unit except for some little differences here and there. As you can tell, uh, they're pretty much made by the same company. Um, they're you know, sourced out of China uh, uh, to the different companies' specifications. So Anova you know, wanted theirs to be set up a little bit different than Avid Armor did. So they have some different differences. But as far as the internals and the functionality and even the shape and size, they're pretty much the same unit. When you're buying something like this, uh, even though it's pretty much the same unit, you're really buying it from the company that backs it up. So I know for a fact Avid Armor takes care of their customers really well. They have great customer service. Um, if anything goes wrong with it, you call up Avid Armor. They're based in the United States. They're going to take care of you. Anova, pretty much the same. They have decent customer service. Uh, I think they're based out of California mostly. I don't know if they have some of their stuff going overseas for customer service or not. But um, both of these companies have good customer service. I know I've dealt with Avid Armor uh, a lot because I started out with them when they first started out uh, years ago. And Anova, they kind of have different products. You know, Avid Armor specializes in vacuum sealers, both channel now and chamber sealers. They just released a new oil-based pump ch uh, chamber sealer as well. Anova has got their fingers on a few different pies because they have they started out with sous vide, now they're doing these, so they also have some sous vide containers, they have the Innova oven, so they're actually kind of branching out into some other um, products as well. So we're going to touch on the differences between these two and the similarities, and like I said, you're going to be really looking at the customer service abilities of both of these companies because the units are very similar to each other. I don't think either one of them is going to have much advantage over the other you just really much which company do you trust better the company that specializes in vacuum sealers that's based in the united states or a company that's got their fingers in just a little bit of everything and doesn't really have anything but the smaller channel sealers and this uh, cha uh, chamber sealer so let's go ahead and take a look at the similarities and differences in these two units i'll be right back all right guys so first of all you can see the lids very similar you know, uh, thick glass. You open up the chamber size is pretty similar, uh, pretty much the same. The vacuum uh, hose here, or vacuum hole here. Well, both of these will take a um, accessory hose. So the same size seal bar. Seal bar is pretty much the same. Nothing really different about that. They both take these uh, oddball sized bags where they're longer than they are wide so that um, you can fit them in the chamber. Like I said, Anova sells these and so does Avid Armor. So that's pretty much it. You're not going to be able to buy them cheap you know, from other sources. Now, the main difference that you can tell is where the control panel is set up here on the Anova on top and where the Avid Armor here, it's on the bottom or in the uh, front face here. Also, on the Avid Armor, you do have an analog uh, pressure gauge here as well. You don't really have that over here on the Innova. It's pretty much, they wanted everything to be on the lid and everything digital. Whether that's better or not, I don't know. We're going to go ahead and turn on the um, Avid Armor here. 
All right, so you can see on the Avid Armor here, you can actually adjust your vacuum time or your seal time. You don't have just two options like you do on the Innova. So there's a difference there. On the Innova, remember, you can only do strong or normal for both your vacuum and your seal time. So you really can't adjust it to the second. Now here on the on, on Avid Armor, if you hit the set button, the vacuum time will flash and then you can either go lower you can do a lower time pretty much all the way down to uh, one second <laughs> so you can go all the way down you just keep pushing it down you can go back up so you can go it starts out at a standard of 30 seconds and then you can go from there either higher or lower depending on where you want to be so if you want to do something that's a little bit more um, fragile you can do that if you hit set again you can change your seal time same thing you can go lower if you don't do it with an actually it looks like three seconds is the lowest and then you can go higher so if you want to do a mylar bags or a retort bags you can actually adjust the seal time up so you can do those we're not going to do that now. We're just going to go back down to three for when we do some testing here. So you got different buttons over here as well. You can actually have a cancel button, which will um, cancel the process. On here, I think you just need to hit your start stop button. So it's pretty much the same. Auto vac and seal, where you press your, your button here, and it'll run a full cycle, just like here when you hit your start and stop it's going to run a full cycle. Um, if you just want to seal, you can press the seal button here and it'll just seal. It won't pull a vacuum. It does have a marinate button, so if you want to go through the marinate process, which you can find out on the uh, in the manual, and what that does, it pulls a vacuum, releases it, pulls a vacuum, kind of helps the marinade penetrate into the meat. You can use that as well. So they, this has a marinate function as well. Remember, we have all these programs over here to do that. And then also, if you're just wanting to seal, you really can't. You can't just seal on here. So uh, you can really just turn off the seal bar. You can't turn off the vacuum. So if you just wanted to seal a bag for some reason, you'd actually have to pull the whole, uh, run the whole cycle on the uh, ANOVA. So there are some of the differences. Now, as far as weight, they're very much the same. As far as the size and dimensions, they're all the same. The chamber is exactly the same. You got about a three inch deep chamber and about eight inches uh, wide here or lengthwise here long. So um, really, as far as them sitting on your countertop or being able to move them around, it's pretty much the same. You do have, like I said, uh, the added benefit of having an analog pressure gauge here. It'll kind of make sure you know what the pressure is in the uh, chamber. You don't have that on here. It's just a countdown for the time. So it really doesn't give you that uh, uh, ability to see what if it's actually pulling all the pressure out of the uh, unit itself. So there you go, guys. It's pretty much the same unit with some different options to it very similar priced Anova's running a special on them right now and you can only get it on their website you can get the Avid Armor on Amazon and um, like I said they are they've been around out now for about almost a year maybe eight months so they've had some plenty of time for these to be tested and true and Avid Armor's customer service is very very good so if you ever have issues with them you can um, definitely count on them to take care of those so that's pretty much the difference guys like i said you know you got controls up here a couple different functions controls down here a little bit more functionality a little bit more control of your vacuum and seal times you do have the analog pressure gauge here so you can actually monitor the pressure inside the chamber and then uh, you can actually cancel the whole process with that so with that I'm going to come back. We'll, we'll do a vacuum uh, just uh, so you guys can see that they pretty much do the same thing. We're going to vacuum an apple 
at each one of these to show you the whole process. I'll be right back. You guys, and like I said, the noise on these are pretty, of this, pretty much the same. So there's really not much difference as far as the noise goes and all that. But we're gonna do the Avid Armor first. We're gonna open up the lid. We're gonna do this apple. When you got just like a single item or a, you know something that's kind of large, you want to put that right in the middle. Same type of clip here as the Anova, so it's going to hold the bag in place. Make sure it doesn't move around during the vacuum process. Make sure, because like if you got the right size bag, you're not going to worry about your um, seal bar length and all that. So we got it in the middle. We're going to go ahead and push the lid down. Hit auto vac and seal. We're set at 30 seconds and uh, for the vacuum time and three seconds for the seal bar. And you're going to watch the um, the uh, analog vacuum gauge. And I'm going to put my microphone down here so you guys can hear. Louder than an oil-based pump would be, but these are both oilless pumps. Like I said, the pumps are pretty much the same. You can see your analog gauge is already tapped out. Our seal bar is engaged. It's cooling down. Release the air. All vacuumed up ready to go. Same seal, double seal here. Very tight. No worries at all. Removed all the air. So that's it guys. I mean, works as it's supposed to. Don't have to worry about it. If you want to adjust the vacuum time and the seal time, you have multiple choices. So we're going to go ahead and do the uh, ANOVA now. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I got my ANOVA. Same thing, we're going to do an apple, put it in the same spot right in the middle. Going to adjust our bag, going to put it up under our clip. Make sure we're all lined up, ready to go. I don't want the bag to get um, all bunched up here. I want to make sure I get a nice tight seal. We're going to close it. Now we're going to do set it to normal on the uh, seal bar and we're going to set it to normal on the vacuum which is pretty much the same on both of the vacuum and the seal time as what we did on the Avid Armor so there's no difference here so all we're going to do now is hit go listen very similar sound this sound a little clunkier on the Innova for some reason as you can tell there's no uh, any kind of way to tell if it's pulling out of the vacuum or not, you just got to kind of take its word for it because it's doing the countdown, but there's no gauge at all, digital or analog. All right, 30 seconds, it's sealing, cooling down. Releasing the air, a little beep and you're done. And there you have it guys, same thing, got a nice tight seal, same seal, double seal on there. So same result, just a little bit different functionality, like I said, same size, pretty much the same overall manufacturer. Um, like I said, with these type of units, you're basing your purchase on the customer service you're going to get from the company you're buying it from because they're the ones that are going to take care of you. It's not the company in, in China that built it. It's Avid Armor or Innova. So very similar as far as size, shape, what they do. The only thing you're going to have a little bit better benefits here on the Avid Armor because you can adjust your vacuum time and seal times a little bit more um, down to the second. And you have an analog pressure gauge so you can know. They both have marinate and uh, auto vacuum seal functionalities. So really, you just gotta pick which one you want, guys. What, what do you think looks better? What benefits are you gonna want? Do you want the analog pressure gauge so you know that it's pulling a vacuum? 
you want to be able to adjust your uh, vacuum time and seal time down to the second or do you just want something basic very similar priced you might find the Innova a little bit cheaper now and then if they go on sale same thing with Avid Armor but check them all both out guys I just wanted to go over both of these because they're very very similar units very similar companies except for Avid Armor strictly does vacuum sealers so thanks for watching follow me on facebook instagram check out the fire and water cooking website fire and water cooking podcast i will see you guys on the next fire and water cooking video